Interesting. Yeah. All right. So one of the big topics we're going to be talking about is um, the carnivore diet. It's in a world where everything seems to be going towards vegan, and they're yeah. a very outspoken um, group of people. And I've yeah. tr- have you tried being vegan? No. Maybe two days worth. Yeah. yeah. I've so I've yeah. I've done. I've watched Game Changers and turned vegan yeah. for like a week or two. Yeah. Um. Let's let's touch on this carnivore diet. Yeah. So it's sort of. I don't know if it's like mainstream, but it's it's out there now. So carnivore diets pretty much just. I wouldn't say it's mainstream. It's very nah, like niche. Yeah. Th- just the thought of it sounds like you know what I mean. Like, yeah. like just fucking eat a steak every day. What <laughs> yeah. the fuck? All you're doing is just eating meat. No so veggies. No fruit. Hey. Pre- sounds prehistoric. Yeah. Like, yeah. Taken yeah. back to the caveman days. Yeah. Um. But um. Joe Rogan is probably the one that's brought it to light. One of yep. the biggest podcasters in the world, and he done a podcast with Jordan Peterson. He's a very smart yeah. guy. Written great books, and he talked about. Um, he had autoimmune diseases and just mm. through eating this, his daughter was this big one where she yep. grew up with arthritis as a kid and had to yeah. have like a hip, re- hip replacement when she was like 12 or some fucking shit. Yeah. Always had um, eczema and shit on her, like always had rashes and just through the process of life and yep. sorry, severe depression was the, was the main one. Yeah. And she couldn't really walk around as a kid and he asked her, he goes, if you got to pick one depression or arthritis, what would you keep? And she goes, I'll keep the arthritis every day. And she goes, they asked her, what was the depression like? He goes, imagine like the 10, the 10 people that you love in, the most in the world and they died yeah. worse than that. And that's how she described depression. And she yeah. goes, I'd rather have arthritis. And she couldn't even walk around. So through the process of elimination, which, which, which the carnivore diet is? The, the eh? carnivore, is yeah, the basic is just an elimination diet of everything. You like fuck meat. everything yeah. off and just eat meat. Yeah. And how long have you been on this? Since um, about my fifth week. Yeah, so... Yeah, right up my alley, like when like those sort of things are like like said, oh, you just need to eat meat and see what happens. I'm like, yeah, I've got to try that. Like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> like don't worry, don't even worry about. But it was a, like a easy transition. I love my meat, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, and then so you're you're five weeks into it. Um, yep. just finished my fifth day. What's the benefits of uh, Actually, before we fucking start talking about <laughs> yeah, exactly. this shit, this is a fucking disclaimer. <laughs> need some disclaimers. Yeah, guys. yeah, we need some disclaimers. Like, we're just not. We're, do you have any background in nutrition nah, or anything? Nah, We're just two just guys. talking about our experience. Yep. Yeah, two guys talking about our experiences here. Um, you, you can try it if you want, but that's up to you. But just as a disclaimer, we don't know what the fuck we're talking about. We're just talking exactly. about experiences. Exactly. Fucking disclaimer. Listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so so what, 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 like, what's the benefits that you felt? So, yeah, so sort of like the cravings are gone. Um, like just the craving, cravings for certain foods, like carbs, like – and all that because you get no carbs. Um, but in the first couple of days, like cravings are like skyrocket. I felt. Um, There's a part of your brain that sort of when you get away from carbs, what's turns to glycogen, which is essentially sugar. And once it once the brain gets rid of that, it's like when um, so like a drug addict's trying to get off the. There's a certain part of the brain that does something similar. I think, right? Yeah, something like that. Like I'm not too sure. I'm not going to speak. Ice, on it ice the some, scientist now. <laughs> someone's going to quit. Disclaimer: I'm like, Not a scientist. You said, that fuck is out there. So <laughs> nah, but um, yeah, I think anything you restrict on yourself, you're always going to want. Like I think it's just built into human psyche. You know what I mean? You take technology away, you're going to want it, or you're going to take this away, you're going to want it. But um, yeah, it's with the carnivore diet, so hunger pretty much went away um after still, how long still comes and goes like um say the first by the fifth fifth or sixth day yep um and then yeah you sort of just don't feel hungry um and but it still comes and goes like now like i haven't eaten today like i follow the intermittent fasting sort of routine so in the morning i'll just have a long black and then lunch have some mints and then Dinner steak or wash rinse repeat that like that suits my lifestyle it's not for everyone but um like easy easy to do um so there's only like there's no way to like fuck it up properly like you know what i mean like you, everyone wants to like when they first start like they want to go beef lamb like what's all this stuff what's all this just start real simple i oh, actually i better not tell everyone how to start but that's how i started um and then yeah energy levels are just crazy um I've had like I'm up in the morning and then I just have like like I feel like I don't have dips during the day like I normally do and then I'm pumping pretty much from early in the morning when I start coaching like five six a.m. sometimes all the way up to nine p.m. at night. Yeah. Mm. So I'll, I'll I'll vouch for everything he said and I'm only five days in and I know there's an element of placebo and yep. something new that's exciting. Yeah. I felt the same when I went vegan as well at yeah, the start. Exactly. You know what I mean. So, um, but. 
I didn't have that sustained energy that I have right now. Yeah. And what I mean by this is like anyone that sort of follow me or know me, quite erratic, like I'll wake up in the morning and just go whoosh, like yeah. take off. And then by the time I get to two and three, like boom, like need a nap, need, like need sugar, yeah. like need chocolate, need a coffee. It could easily go through the day without a coffee right now. Yeah. Um, but that sustained energy and it's it's not like, you're upbeat all the time. It's just like you're level-headed. It's like you've got mental clarity yeah, all the time. And one of the big key points that mm. I've noticed, we'll go play basketball and I'll play basketball the last three days in a row, is as after about two or three o'clock, I'll be back in the office and I can get back into a workflow straight away. I'm not distracted. I'm not fucking around on Instagram, like looking at stupid shit. I don't know. I just feel I just feel clear. I just feel calm and I'm sleeping a bit. And some someone that struggled with sleep over a long period of time, like – I haven't stayed up past 10.30 in the last couple, like, last week, which has yeah. been pretty exciting for me. Yeah, yeah. So, like, yeah, there's the energy levels, like, the main, like, sort of factor that I like about it. And um, so I'd done it with my missus as well. And, yeah, she'd done it easier than me. I felt like I struggled for the first week hard. Mm. But she, like, two or three days she struggled. And then, like, just the cravings and the hunger, like, and just sort of the – the mindset of like, oh, I can't eat, like I'm not eating veggies. I gave her a little bit of green veggies just to start her off because it was just too much of a jump to go from her diet, which was quite high in carbs, past three, like she's Maltese, mm. and then um, just the straight straight meat. So we've done a bit of greens and some, we put some yogurt and like blueberries in there as well. And then, but now she's none of that. So she's just full bought into it. Yeah. She's just all meat now. How's she feeling? Yeah, she's great. She's um, lost five kilos yeah like she's swimming in her clothes like now she's like she's gonna have to go shopping for new clothes you know, like expensive that. yeah <laughs> it's the only shit thing about the carnival yeah <laughs> hey want some clothes yeah, but she's looking com. amazing her skin's way better and her hair she's noticed and um yeah but not without yeah so like yeah she done it good like i i sort of meal prepped her, all her food and she likes the simplicity of it like we just cook a big thing of mince and then that's our lunches for like nearly the first three or four days, and then we do another another cook up during the week. Yeah, um, so like just everyone sort of associates with weight loss, and I've had I had two guys because I said I was going on it on Sunday Monday, and they've jumped on it straight away. And one guy messaged me today, and this is just going off. I don't want to put his details out there, but he goes, "Bro, I've lost five kgs already." <laughs> and people associate diet with weight loss, yeah. but for me, I just want to fucking feel good because yeah. I got a fucking bunch of shit going on. I got people relying on me, but I, yeah. I just want to be on like all the time. You know yeah. what I mean? And that's 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 the biggest benefit I've got over. I, I didn't weigh myself at the start, but I think I will by the end of the month and see and measure it. I want to give it a whole month before I start like pumping yeah, it up yeah. and sort of pushing people onto it. Yeah, You're probably exactly. in a better position than I am to talk yeah, about. So I started with two other guys as well. Oh, through Real Movement, we started a whole community. So because this Carnival month is January, isn't it? Yeah. So Real Movement lo- launched the sort of their own version of it, and then I got two other guys to jump on with me, and they lost ten. They've lost ten kilos to date from what each or to combined each. each. Yeah. So one was at about one twenty, is down to one ten. Mm. One was at. One, one hundred eight, and he's under one hundred ninety-seven or something. Like moldy boys, big moldy boys, um, and exactly the same what we just described. Like less hunger, you know, very simple energy levels are fine. You know what I mean? They're just everyday guys that just you know, not like like former pro- professional athletes or anything like that. So. Yeah. So um, you gave me. Uh, Another disclaimer, like this, he gave me a sort of basic model to follow. Get us in trouble, bro. You can follow. You can follow <laughs> it if you want. This is up to you. But this is the model I follow, and this is the one he gave me. And it's basically like intermittent fast during the day, up until twelve. Um, have mints. Um, actually, just start with red meat at the start. Eh? That's that was yeah. the sort of big one. And yeah. people talk about the downsides of this carnivore diet. And Joe Rogan was big on this. He said he got the shits. And I haven't had it. And we were talking about it off air before where I've had one shit where I thought like, fuck, this is the start of it. <laughs> this is Barley Belly 2.0. Yeah. And like my shit just went like this. was went boof, like dropped out. And like, that was it. Like yeah. it wasn't like a normal type of shit. It just went, and I was like, oh, is this, this must be what it's like. And people will have shits and you got, you had it, eh? Yeah. Yeah. So with, yeah. So that's the, sort of the main thing. Your sort of shits get a bit muddled up with it just because your gut's trying to deal with all the new meat that's coming in like probably two or three times more than you're used to. Mm. Um, but I've found, like I told you, just stick basic beef straight away. Like don't try and go lamb, pork, chicken and all that to start. I just, have a bit of bacon though. Just Yeah, bacon's, yeah, that's all right. Like long as it's not like so varied, you know what I mean? Because then you don't know 
when you're like when something does go wrong what it actually was because mm. you're just so spread out so like i told same with my missus i told her just just stick but she was like oh but i can eat all the other meats i said just first week so just listen. do basics yeah. just do the basics and then yeah that worked for her and then start I, adding something in yeah that then later. add in add in one thing you know what i mean i feel that's the best sort of start that you can do with it it's funny like three days in we were down in Kuji and uh my girlfriend wanted to eat out somewhere down there and we went to they only had like chicken snitties like yeah. as the meat so i was like, oh, i'll just get two of those like ate them straight and like i didn't feel as good the next day yeah and it's something i measure because i journal like every day of how i felt but yeah the red meat is the easy one for me and like, i'm cooking in butter i'm having um bone broth yeah. uh, morning and night like i'm just not hungry at night time and i'm just Bodies yeah. just start shutting down, the lights go off, and later. Yeah, it's the, the funny thing about it is it's so against everything that's being pushed or everything that you should do, which is right up my alley. I'm always like, yeah, when everyone zigs, I zag and do something different, you know what I mean? So, like, like veggies are, ha- are healthy, um, you need fiber. Like all that stuff, it goes against all those rules. And I was like, man, how was, how's my body going to adapt with no fiber in it? Like you need that to shit, don't you? Like that was, that was my understanding anyway. And I haven't had fiber for a month. And yeah, I'm pretty regular now with like toilet and all that. So. Yeah, that's good. All right, we're just going to get into a part now. We're going to ask a bunch of questions uh, that we've reached out to you guys and get Lukey onto this pretty, pretty soon. All right. So the first one we have... <clears throat> Uh, what are your thoughts on the current state of the fitness industry with certain influencers, Instagram models giving out advice? We're at a point now where PT is kind of an easy industry to get into, same as a clothing company, same as real estate, and everyone's pushing out content. What's your thought on it? Um, yeah, that's a, t- that's a tough one. My thoughts on that would be um, I think everyone's health, fitness is their um, own responsibility. So if you go out and like – try stuff and it doesn't work then fuck that's on you like tough shit like you know what i mean if you spend five thousand dollars on a stack of supplements to lose weight and it doesn't work then that's on you like you should own your life and your responsibility so whatever anyone's doing out there like all these instagram like sometimes i might not agree with them but to blame them for your health or how your health is at the moment um, yeah, you got to be the one who's responsible for that. Do you I know? Feel. Do you know what I've found over the past? And someone that's tried a lot of diets and like, I've, like I've got some down to some of the pretty low body weights at time when I was playing football. Yeah. Um, all these different diets they actually all work, eh? Like, there's not yeah. one that's like, fuck, this is the way to live. Yeah, yeah. So like the things behind diets, like the main thing is consistency and discipline. Like, fuck, if you don't have that on carnival and you just go off and on, like it's not going to work. If you carnival, yeah, vegan, vegan, pescatarian, everything, paleo. Like, there's no secret sauce out there. Like, it all works. I could make the broccoli diet work and be heap shredded, or like, you know what I mean? Or the banana diet, like, because like, I'm disciplined. What? I know the discipline to do it. Like, that's the main part that people miss, you know mm. what I mean? 